Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I had a little, um, not necessarily a project share, but a little information to share about alcohol inks um, and the foiling, um, doing the foiling method. Uh, my mom and I were messing around with alcohol inks last night, um, having some fun. She just got some, Pops got her some for Christmas this year. And so um, normally when I do like this method here of doing foiling and stuff, I, u I use gilding flakes is what I use and never really thought about the tackiness of um, using regular foil, tactile uh, foil sh uh, sheets like the Glimmer. The uh, glimmer or the deco foil, because uh, I wouldn't think that it would be tacky enough. Because I was thinking that it was more the water or the moisture that's left is why the gilding sheets um, adhere to it because they're so delicate and fine that they just adhere to the moisture and then dry into it. And in reality, it's actually tacky enough. So my mom said she was going to use um, the um, the uh, foiling. Uh, sheets and I was like I wonder if that would actually work and so we got to messing around and by golly that works just beautifully so I used this uh, well I actually used some pink on this not not the holographic I actually used pink on this on this one it was just a spare little piece but it it there was some really great results and this is this sheet of paper here I wasn't um too fond of my I, I can cut a section out of here. I wasn't too fond of the colors that I mixed. Eh, um, I added some orange in there, which I shouldn't have, and I got more of a mucky mess than I really wanted to. And um, But this paper right here is this waterproof paper. And if you want to do this foiling method, this stuff actually works the nicest. You do need um, a blending solution. The alcohol uh, ink blending solution works the best with the alcohol inks on this paper. Um, if you want just normal blooming, um, like where you drop, do the drops of alcohol ink, uh, onto your paper and it does the, the circle spreading out, which is blooming. Um, regular Yupo paper is the best, works the nicest for that method. Um, to get those color variations in the dropping combo and stuff. Um, the thing about that is it dries much faster than the waterproof paper. And the other thing is, and that's why I don't have that much foiling on this one. And I was trying for the holographic. So when you're doing Yupo paper, the trick with Yupo paper is don't touch it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, your The oil in your hands, any tiny bit of oil will affect how the Yupo paper reacts to the blooming of the alcohol ink and it will make it give it a distorted pattern or cause it not to bloom as much so as touch it as little as possible just like a tiny bit of a corner or something until you're done and then um make sure when you're doing the the foiling with your deco because deco foil would work as well because it's tactile any kind of tactile adhesive or any not adhesive any kind of tactile foil will work with this alcohol um sticky method um and uh, so m touch it as little as possible and then um get it while it's like really still wet because um otherwise you'll only get a little bit if you let it dry too long and this stuff dries like the alcohol ink dries pretty quickly on this so this is regular yupo paper and you can see i got a little bit of foiling there and there but yeah i didn't hardly get any because it just dried so fast it did there there is quite a window of time on this waterproof paper which is really nice for being able to get all that see all that foiling um the foiling technique this is actually if you want foiling this is the best technique if you want a quick background and it's dry really fast you will paper or um this is so this is uh, alcohol ink Yupo paper is that one. And then this is actually um, alcohol ink cardstock is what this is. And this is even faster. It, alcohol ink dries even faster on this. And on this one, you also need a... So on Yupo paper, you need less of... Um, you don't need as much blending solution. You can actually just use the Yupo paper, Yupo paper with alcohol inks 
by itself. It'll actually bloom and give you really nice pattern effects um, all on their own. So you don't really necessarily need too much. The cardstock, you get better results if you add blending solution to it. And it also um, helps with the drying time uh, on the cardstock, the alcohol cardstock, um, alcohol ink cardstock. And you definitely want blending solution with this because it just dries way too fast. And this dries the fastest because it soaks in so quickly. Um, and but but you can see there's a little bit of, you know, foiling there and there. Um, we did pretty good that with that. But if you want a super fast background and it's dry really quick, alcohol ink cardstock, really fun with blending solution. Yupo paper, if you want a little bit longer uh, drying time, uh, but not by much, still dries very quickly. Um, you'll want to be really quick with your um, foiling. Um, but if you want the blooming technique, this paper is, I think, the best for that. And then if you want a lot of time to play and a lot of foiling, the watercolor or the waterproof paper, this here, waterproof paper, Brie Reese, um, is, I think, the best, especially for the foiling technique. But you do need blending solution for sure with this. And with this method, it's super fun. What I found, it was easier to use the foiling, your regular foiling um, with this method and your hands get less, you know, inky and all of that kind of stuff than with the gilding flakes. But the gilding flakes do add a different type of texture and and a different type of, um, a different look to the foiling as well. But I mean, come on, that's, the foiling in this is just amazing. And uh, I think I can do a lot with this with this background. So I'll, I'll just cut out the little parts that I like <laughs> and uh, leave the rest. But anyhow, I just wanted to share that information with you. Save all your tiny little scrappy pieces of foil for this type of project because these work really well because that's all I use was little scraps. So uh, I just thought you'd uh, be interested in here one more time. That's the waterproof paper. This one here for the that does really well with the regular foil. Really awesome. Uh, blooming is Yupo paper. And the quick drying uh, cardstock back there is this one here. So thanks, guys. Uh, just wanted to share that. Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.